65 million years ago. The world is inhabited by the dominant fauna, the dinosaurs. It has been this way for 165 million years. There were other dynasties before, but none came close to the dinosaurs' reign. In all likelihood, this would have continued, but for a massive calamity. This calamity was an asteroid, which struck and created the Chicxulub crater located in the Gulf of Mexico today. In the geological blink of an eye, all non-avian dinosaurs went extinct, leaving a massive gap in the Earth's ecosystem which would need to be filled. This would usher in the Paleocene Epoch, and in the millions of years following this world-changing event, many different species vied to become the dominant successor to the dinosaurs, resulting in an evolutionary arms race which created some wild and unorthodox species, some of which rivaled the scale of the dinosaurs that came before. Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at five giant animals involved in this arms race. We will look at how they lived and how they eventually died out. Andrusarchus is an extinct mammal that lived in the inner Mongolia region of China about 56 to 33.9 million years ago. It was a large predatory animal closely related to present day hippos and aquatic mammals such as whales. Not much is known about this mammal because only a single large skull fossil has been found. It is estimated to have been as tall as a horse. Because we have very little remains of this creature, we have to estimate the size of the animal using only its skull. If these estimations are indeed correct, it would hold the title of largest ever mammalian land carnivore. Andrew Sarkis was about 2 meters tall and 5 meters long. It weighed about a thousand kilograms. This is quite massive, considering the fact that the modern polar bear weighs roughly 500 kilograms on average. Andrew Sarkis had a massive skull that was nearly as long as 85 centimeters. It also had a long snout with sharp, large and flat teeth that must have been used to crush bones. It had one canine, three incisors, four premolars and three molars at each side of the jaw. This dentition is one of many similarities between this animal and the intelodonts, which were pig-like artiodactyls that lived during the Eocene. Like other ungulates, they had hooves on their feet. Since the discovery of Andrew Sarkis's skull, there have been arguments about its diet. The most common theory is that this animal was a carnivore. Most researchers think Andrew Sarkis was a scavenger and a hunter. But they probably had a varied diet that would have included any prey that was available. Since its fossil was found in a prehistoric coastal area, they probably fed on sea life such as turtles. They also may have scavenged other predators' kills using its size to scare them off. The longevity of Andrew Sarkis's species is also very impressive, as it persisted for around 25 million years. It is unknown how they finally went extinct, but it is theorised it may have been due to changing climatic conditions. Basilosaurus a name which translates to King Lizard, was a prehistoric whale that dominated the sea. Weighing up to 10 tons, the Basilosaurus lived after the dinosaurs had gone extinct when mammals started to develop in greater numbers. This monster of the sea was about 17 meters long. They were roughly the length of modern humpback whales. Basilosaurus whales were sleeker than many modern whales and could almost be mistaken for extremely large eels. 
They had small limbs on the back of their body, likely to help with mating. Basilosaurus also used teeth to eat food rather than the baleen that many modern whales of their size would use today. While they were quite large, these whales were still quite primitive and had small brains. Scientists believe that this shows that they were incapable of herd movement or even echolocation. Basilosaurus diet consisted of prey both in and out of the water. Shark and a primitive type of elephant's remains have been found inside the fossils of this animal. This indicates that Basilosaurus would prey on other predators or would also happily ambush an unsuspecting land animal that gets too close to the water, much like what orcas do today. Because of their large size for the time and the type of teeth that they had, it is likely that these ancient whales chewed meat and fish for most of their meals. The most recent evidence of the Basilosaurus dates to around 33.9 million years ago. A large scale event likely impacted the Basilosaurus, like many other species that went extinct during that time period. This extinction event may have been caused by something like a meteor, based on evidence of impact zones around that time. Other hypotheses point to the gradual cooling that changed the available food sources for all animals, which eventually led to the extinction of many species, including Basilosaurus. Kalenken was a huge terror bird, which lived well after the dinosaurs went extinct. It was named after a winged deity in local South American mythology. It had the largest skull of any known bird, with a length of 71 centimetres, which was mostly his beak of 46 centimetres. Along with nearly a complete skull fossil, a 45 centimetre tarsometatarsus was discovered. The tarsometatarsus is a bone in the leg of flightless birds, such as ostriches. Although full skeleton has not been discovered, these two pivotal pieces indicate that Kalenkin might well have been the largest of the terror birds. This flightless bird was located throughout South America, as with all other terror birds. The manner in which Kalenkin hunted and captured prey is unknown. Being fast moving, the animal likely pursued and crushed prey under their massive beaks. It is likely they hunted animals such as rodents, deer, llama and armadillos. Another theory is that Kalenkin picked prey up in its jaws and vigorously shook them as to break its spine. If this is true, this is truly an animal that lives up to the terror bird moniker. Kalenkin may also have been a scavenger that drove predators from carcasses due to their sheer size. It is believed that the terror birds became extinct when the huge carnivore mammals such as the saber-toothed tigers and the ancestors of wolves migrated from North America to South America, outcompeting the birds and preying on their eggs which would hasten their demise. Of all the animals on this list, Kalenkin is probably the one I'm most grateful I would never want to come across today. Now we move on to a much less terrifying bird. Kumimanu Biche translates to monster bird in the Maori language. This is an extinct genus of giant penguin which lived around 60 to 56 million years ago. The type and only species is Kumimanu biche, which arose after the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs. 
fossils were found in New Zealand, and, disco and the discovery was announced in December 2017. This was a long-beaked penguin that stood 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighed about 100 kgs, making it around the average size of a man. This alone makes it the largest penguin ever discovered. Kumin Manu wasn't just exceptionally big, it also ranks among the oldest penguin fossils yet found. Both its age and its size makes Kumin Manu important to understanding the astonishing transformation that turned a lineage of flying birds into flightless swimmers. Kumin Manu lived in New Zealand, which was subtropical during much of the Paleocene era. There were many organisms in these waters, including sea turtles and various fishes. Kumimanu were likely very similar to modern day penguins in the way that they lived. However, these monster birds were likely able to consume larger prey due to their sheer size. It is not known how they went extinct, but climate change and a lack of sufficient prey have been theorised as to why they eventually died out. Episcyon was a large species of dog that lived from the early Miocene to the late Miocene. This was around 5 to 20 million years ago. It belonged to the subfamily Borophaginae, or bone crushing dogs, and weighed about 130 kg. Fossils of the species of Episcyon were found in several regions all over North America. The word Episcyon means more than a dog, a very apt name for one of the largest canines ever discovered. Episcyon had the body length of about 3 meters and a shoulder height of just under a meter. Similar to modern day dogs, the animal had grinding teeth, which gives scientists the impression that Episcyon was omnivorous. Based on a fossilized specimen and their strong jaw muscles, it is concluded that their digestive system was probably strong enough to dissolve the bones of other animals, a unique characteristic of this dog. Alongside their grinding teeth, they also had canine teeth in the front of their upper and lower jaws. The overall distribution of their teeth was distinct compared to other canines of the era and showed that while the animal was omnivorous, its diet was largely based more than 70% on large herbivorous animals, making it a hypercarnivore. Their teeth also showed signs of heavy dental erosion, probably from crushing the bones of their prey. The animal had a small clavicle and flexible limbs. Based on their legs and their body proportions of the fossils, they were probably unable to run very long distances. Instead, they would have ran in short bursts of speed. It is thought that these dogs went extinct due to the arrival of the big cats. Episcyon were generally slow animals and on the contrary, one of the species of big cats, the saber-tooth cats, were much faster hunters that preyed on the same animals as Episcyon did. So, it's likely Episcyon's prey was hunted by these big cats. This eventually led to their slow demise from lack of food, as the animal was not getting a proper diet, which would in turn affect their ability to reproduce. This would ultimately lead to their extinction. The impact of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was a disaster for many of the species at the time. However, it opened up the opportunity 
for life to adapt and grow in new ways and was the catalyst for mammals to take over as the dominant species, eventually leading to all of us existing today.